everybody. Just wanted to come on for a few minutes today to talk to you about exercising your faith and believing in God. Our scripture reference is coming from Mark 11, verses 23 through 24, and I will read it for your hearing. Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. Therefore, I tell you, everything you pray and ask for, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Amen. Now, uh, in these particular scriptures, uh, you will often hear uh, this scripture. If you believe and have faith, then you will receive. Now, what exactly does that mean? I have faith. You have faith. Does it mean everything that we ask for, we're going to receive? No. That is not what that means. You may or may not get everything that you believe in God for. Because it is always up to God. He decides that what you pray for, you will receive. And that is why when you pray and ask, you have to be specific in your prayers. Example, if you're praying for healing, don't just say, God, heal my body. Okay, so yes, God knows where you need healing, but still, you have to ask through prayer. God, heal my feet, that part where I stand, where my muscles underneath. Uh, God, allow them to be strengthened so that I will be able to stand for long periods of time or, or, or whatever your healing may be. God, I know that you are more than able to do this, so I believe you for it. Then you wait in expectation and believe that God will do it. What am I doing while I'm waiting? I'm still praying. I'm still fasting. I'm still worshiping. I'm still praising. And a lot, and a lot of times we say, I'm waiting on God. <laughs> and sometimes he waiting on you. He is waiting on you to work your faith, to believe him to do something. Be, because faith without works is dead. Meaning, I need something, so I have to do something to get it. Faith is big in the Christian world. Faith is our currency. We use faith like we use cash and like we use our cards. How are you going to get this? Oh, my faith in God, he can do it. Well, how are you going to get that? Oh, it's already done in the spirit world. And while we are waiting for the prayer to get through, we have to use our weapons. We have weapons, all type of weapons that we use to fight the enemy. Have you ever seen anyone come to a boxing fight unprepared? Let's say they are in the boxing ring. No, you... You always see them with their boxing gloves. They always come prepared. They have their boxing gloves. They got their mouth guard in. Uh, that, they even put that stuff on their face uh, so that when the boxing glove hit them, it slides off. I, I don't know what it's called. I think it's grease. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But, you know, you have to be prepared. You have to know your weapons. Your weapon is prayer, praise, Worship, fasting, believing, and speaking. And all of this goes with, I believe I receive when I pray. <laughs> all right, I want to thank you, Mama Dorothy, for uh, texting me this scripture. I was studying, and she texted me this, and I said, thanks, Mom. Let's see how this flows. And I said, if God wants me to talk about it, it's going to flow. So obviously, he did. Amen. So with that being said, just know that God loves you. That I love you. If you need prayer, just let me know. I'll talk to you later. Bye.